Okay, um, so we are here to talk a little bit about the world of today. Look, my intention is to look a little bit into what the next two, three, four, maybe even five years have in mind. Some of you have read a book that I wrote many years ago. The name is Funky Business. And now we are basically going to take the next round and look at what is beyond funky business. Because there is a world out there right now that I think will transform as much as it did 1994 when the internet was born. Because 1994 is basically the year when internet was born. Because then we got Netscape 1.0. And I will also explain in a moment's time why I think that we will see huge changes and a world that is a little bit, let's shall we say, crazy. Crazy in mostly a positive way. Look at this. Less talked about. We are in Moscow today, but there is also something else. We are in the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. Not the middle, not the end. We are in the beginning of the fastest urbanization process in human history. What we now will go through is absolutely unbelievable. And I will summarize it for you. We are today about 218 countries on this planet. 218. What will happen now is that we will transform this planet from 218 countries into 600 cities. And those, listen to this, ladies and gentlemen, 600 cities will account for 80 to 85 percent of the world population. I say it again, 600 cities will account for 80 to 85 percent of the world population. Number two, these 600 cities will account for 85 to 90 percent of the economic activity in the world. And then I know that some of you that are out there, you will go like, when, how long time? 30 years. All this in 30 years, which means that most of you that are here today, you will experience this. You will see the transformation of the world from countries to cities. Anything that can be digitized will be digitized. It's easy to remember. Anything that can be digitized will be digitized. And then you can start to look at our societies. Entertainment, music, literature, education, poetry, healthcare. Anything that can be digitized will be digitized. And one more thing. One more thing. Keep an eye on Fang. Fang is there, and you go like, who is Fang? Well, Fang is very important, but who is Fang? Fang is not a small Chinese. Fang is an acronym for Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. Fang. That's together Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. Why are they important? They are important because they are creating like a standard for what you can and not can do right now. We, you and I, we are the same as we were 10 years ago, 100 years ago, 200 years ago. We have the same capacity, the same the same brain, basically, as we had 150 years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know what this means in practice? I tell you what it means in practice. You and I are the same. Yesterday, today and tomorrow. This curve means that every morning 
when you and wake up, I wake up, we are a little bit more stupid than the day before. That's what it means. Because the total amount of knowledge is growing dramatically and our capacity is basically the same. The total amount is growing, 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 and ours is the same. That means that my share, your share, is becoming smaller and smaller and smaller. It does not matter whether you are a medical doctor, an architect, a designer, a musician, a professor of physics, all of us into this. Can you see that the idea that we were told to believe in when we were kids that you should become specialist in something, you should become a master of something, you cannot become a master here. Everybody is an amateur. Everybody draw, is drawn into this maelstrom of knowledge where you know less and less every day. The good news is that this creates enormous business opportunities to close the gap. Probably the years to come will for us be to rebalance the whole idea of a company where we have to bring creation back and push exploitation a little bit into the place where it belongs and where creation and exploitation are equally powerful forces in the company. We will have to reclaim originality in the years to come. Thank you very much for listening.